everyone welcome back to returning to basics I'm up at the property at Dogwood Trace and I'm doing a little work today on my fence I'm going to put in what I call a flexible gate if you remember on our last video I did some work on the fence and I moved a gate actually and I fenced through a uh, an entryway and I intended to come up and actually move that gate but instead of being able to move that gate, I found that the ground is frozen and it's too hard to dig post holes. So I'm going to do what we call a flexible gate. And you'll, you'll see what it is when you come along. I'm going to cut a few walking sticks for some friends also. So I think you'll enjoy being out on the property with me. Okay, got enough wire to stretch between the two. Some additional wire connectors to strengthen these on this fence. And enough to actually put it to work right there. So, let's see if I can't tie these together. And tie them around my pole. While I was at the house, I cut this one off. Look at there. Perfect. So, we want to tie it around that pole. First thing I want to do is weave these together right here.
work it down. And there we have a good, tight, but flexible gate that now can be accessed by the utility company. There we have it. Okay. There we have it. A new flexible gate for our property at Dogwood Trace. And locked but accessible by the utility company and myself and anyone who has the right to go through here. I'm going to put a few more wire connectors on the fence post to shore up the fence and make it a little stronger. But that's all we're going to be doing today. In this project, in a few minutes after I finish this, I'm going to go and cut a few hickory walking sticks for our neighbors. I'm over in the area where I have one of my ladder stands and I have cut some trees over and these are hickories and I have some friends who need some hickory walking sticks and I'm going to go ahead and take the tops of those trees off right there and I'm going to make them some hickory walking sticks out of those. They're pretty good and straight as you can see right there. So they'll make some really nice ones. This should make a very good walking stick for one of my neighbors. trim it down, cut some of the bottom off. There we go, there's one good one right there. Okay, cut this off it's in the way. I got these three cut off of these hand cuts that I made earlier. I made those so that I can actually see out into the right of way and into my food plot from my ladder stand behind me. I thought, you know, these would be really good. Turn it up this way. Come to about right here. There we go. Cut these off. There we go. That's a good walking stick for my neighbor. We have a situation in our neighborhood where we have a neighbor or two who doesn't keep up their dogs. And one of our, my neighbors was bit the other day. And I told her, I said, that's the reason that I walk with a walking stick. So I can keep the dogs off of me in case they run out there. You can just, you know, shoo them away like this and they won't bother you. Then. But if you're without anything in your hands, they can tear you up like they did her. And they, they bit her on her leg. Didn't really hurt her that bad, but I'll strip the bark off that and that'll make a really good walking stick for her. And if it's too big, here's one right here. And I'll cut right there. And 
that stick will be smaller like that. It even has some character. It's a little bit crooked. <laughs> well, here's another one because I know whenever some of the other ladies in the neighborhood see that that one neighbor has a stick, they'll ask, where did they get it? And then she'll tell them, Neil got it for me. And they'll be contacting me wanting a stick. So, here's one for the other neighbor, whoever that is. So there we are, there's two big walking sticks and two small ones and they're about five and a half foot tall. Still getting water. I love this place. I think you'd like it too. It's been a good day at Dogwood Trace. Well, I hope you really enjoyed being out on the property with me today. I got a lot done. Got that gate done, flexible gate, cut some walking sticks for my friends, changed the batteries and the cameras and the SD cards, and filled up the feeders. And, and I gave 200 gallons of rainwater to my next door neighbor. So, had a pretty productive day. Hope you enjoyed being out on the property with me. I really enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this video and others you'd like to see. Be sure and leave me a comment. Tell me where you're from. I'd like to know where you're from, what part of the world you're in. I really would appreciate that. Thanks for taking the time out of your life and your day to be with me. Be safe. God bless you. Have a great day.